It's Confident Computing number 863. How long will my SSD last? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here with this week's video summary of my weekly emailed newsletter, Confident Computing. If you're not getting it in your inbox every Tuesday, visit askleo.com newsletter and sign up today. Our featured article actually talks about exactly what to expect from your SSD. It's been drilled into our head that flash memory wears out the more you write to it. But how do you know, and especially for something as important as the drives internal to your computer, it would be nice to know what to expect. This article uses a utility to actually examine what the SSD thinks of its own lifespan. And generally, they're lasting a lot longer than you might think. Also this week, people love to jump to conclusions. They just do. And when something goes wrong or something doesn't behave the way that they think it should behave, it's not uncommon for people to jump to the conclusion that there's malice involved. There's evil intent involved. There's a hacker or a stalker or Microsoft or Bill Gates himself is somehow involved in the problem that they are experiencing right now. There's a very, very simple rule of thumb. Never attribute to malice that which can be adequately explained by stupidity, which I'll actually expand on a little bit. But even with only stupidity, there's enough of that going around for that to explain a lot of what we experience. The system idle process is another one where people just love to jump to the conclusion that it's evil, it's malicious, there's something bad about it because it's using all of my CPU. The fact is that it's using all of your CPU because the computer's got nothing better to do. It's called idle for a reason and it's not impacting your performance. People also tend to believe that it's very easy to find out who is at a specific IP address on the internet. Let's face it, TV cop shows and movies certainly make it seem like it's just a few minutes worth of work and all of a sudden they're pounding on your door. The reality is much, much different than that, especially for folks like you and me. Finally this week, here's the thought. Rather than spending so much time trying to fix a problem, it might actually be faster just to start over. Now, what starting over means depends on the situation. Of course, it could mean reinstalling a program or reformatting and reinstalling your computer with a fresh copy of Windows. But often, as daunting as that seems, starting over really is the most pragmatic and quicker solution. No TEH podcast this week. For those of you that watched last week's introductory video, you'll know why. I suspect that there will be a little bit more of that coming up this summer as we all start to travel just a little bit more. I hope things are going well for you. I hope that the summer is starting to look a little bit more promising for you, that you're able to get out and about, and that things continue to go as smoothly as they seem to be going in most parts of the United States. Hope you find something interesting in this week's newsletter. Until next week, I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.